I dream of inviting a Mormon missionary into my home and shattering their entire worldview within 30 second or 30 minute conversation. Maybe we shouldn't have that our attitude, but I mean, we want them to be saved. We, but this, the word shatters a bit much, but you know, if they get their worldview shattered and become Christian, all for it. All right. The moment that was written for hundred AD. It's a record of an ancient people crossing overseas. It's my favorite book because I feel good every time I read, and I know that it's true because the spirit told me. Okay, so he's got a Book of Mormon that was written in 400 AD. This is what me and Derry were asking or were, were talking about. How was it written in English? Modern English in 400 AD. Unless they say it wasn't. I don't know what the argument is. But what well, Joseph Smith uh, translated Okay, translated it. from an ancient language. Right, okay. But yeah. yeah. He stuck his face in a hat that had a magic rock in it. And translated it um, to someone like transcribing it, Dude, this, as, uh, it as he told them what it meant. This so is he a had the ancient movie. language on script. You know, literally, it's a, it's a sci-fi movie. That's at, we uh, should make a mock. We should make a sci-fi movie that has very similar elements. Where we won't say it though. It'll be a, instead of a rock. It'll be like a or instead of a hat. It'll be like a a box, and there'll be a, a leaf in there that reveals truth. Now l- listen. South Park did this oh, yeah. <laughs> way before us, so long ago. I haven't seen the episode. I've almost never seen South Park, I don't think. Mm. Um, but I've seen clips on the internet. It's been done many times. That's awesome. Okay, so yeah. yeah. It's, been, it's been done a lot. So that's interesting. Yeah. And, and the idea of like, I, it's my favorite book, it be, and I know it's true because every time I read it, I feel good and the spirit told me. If you guys mm. didn't watch my video from last week about the woman who said she felt the Holy Spirit when she kissed her girlfriend, and she's like mm. LGBTQ Christian, at least claims to be like filled with the Holy Spirit and is living in sin. Like, go watch that. It's a you can't rely on emotions to dictate if you're in truth. You know, yes, the Holy Spirit mm. brings us peace, but also the devil walks around as an angel of light, right? And so you're gonna yeah. feel you can feel a false sense of peace. People feel peace when they smoke weed. It's not doesn't mean the Holy Spirit's in it, and it's probably nothing like the peace of the Holy Spirit that you could have. And so we just want to be careful not to live our life based on feelings. And mm. also, you know, like Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite books. Doesn't mean it's true. Just because I get a good mm-hmm. feeling every time I read it, which was once. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But There's a, a video I posted on my story the other day, and it's like a clip made from an ex-Mormon, actually, who's an agnostic now. We invited him on the show. We'll see if he comes on. Um, but it's all these different religions and clips of them saying, I believe it because I had this special feeling, mm-hmm. right? And so it's Mormons, um, different denominations of Christian, Catholic, um, Seventh-day Adventist, uh, Muslims, and all saying, I know, I know it's true because I have this peace, I have this feeling. And we have to realize that having spiritual experiences is a part of being a human being, is an essential part, so we need those things, right? Because we are spiritual beings. Like, it's impossible to deny that from scripture that we are spiritual beings but we also cannot deny the logic god has built into our minds and our ability to reason through what is right and wrong um, that is also clearly laid out in the bible so if you are just blindly believing things you're going to believe everything because there's a spirit for everything out there that you could want to possibly Mm -hmm. feel or believe in you have to also look with your eyes and think with your mind and see if things are true or not true and test them not just spiritually but uh, logically as well Mm-hmm. And that's what we're hoping to engage some Mormons in doing and engaging with these hard topics that, you know, they have coming against the faith with so many people leaving. They're leaving for a reason. Mm-hmm. You can say the similar thing about Christianity, but I think it's very different. Yeah. You know, first John tells us to test every spirit and the way we test them is to know, mm-hmm. do they confess Christ as Lord? The problem is Mormons will say, yes, we do. And this is where we go to Romans or I think, I think it's Romans one of Paul's writings where he's like, Hey, there's going to become people who say they follow Jesus. as a different Jesus. Let them be accursed, is what mm-hmm. the Bible says. And so it's like, hey, the people are going to preach different Jesuses. So that's what's really confusing sometimes, I think, is when people say, okay, I want to test a spirit. And, and John says that if they confess Christ, they're good. So then people say, oh, yeah, Jesus Christ is Lord. But they have totally different mm-hmm. definitions and a totally different Jesus in mind. And that's why you got to really yeah. understand, like, okay, so what do you believe about Jesus? And if they're like, oh, I believe he is the son of God, is God, the creator God who came to earth and paid for our sins and died and rose again so we can have eternal life if we believe in him and accept his forgiveness. Great, they're Christians. Mm-hmm. But if they leave out the part about him being God and they say, no, he's a different being, not the same Jesus. 
they, they're cursed. Mm-hmm. And I know that kind of sounds offensive and harsh, but like I say that in love, like we got to get these people to a, pl- a place where they recognize their wrongs, so they can receive the truth and be saved for real because they seem to have really genuine hearts that want to follow God. They're just in the wrong camp, you know, and, and genu- yeah. being genuine doesn't make you saved. They would make really good yep. Christians, but we just got to get them here first. Yep. Really good. 